Hi. Today we're going to look at factoring the difference of two squares. So difference, remember, means subtraction. We've got two terms and both of them are perfect squares. Between you and me, these are my students' favorites. They want, they want 100 of these on the test. If this is all they had to factor, they'd be very happy. So I think you're going to like this section. But before we get into it too much, I want to compare two different types of problems. The first one is a binomial squared, where you have a single binomial like this one, x minus 3, taken to the power of 2, versus conjugates, where you have two binomials that look almost identical except for their operations. One is addition and one is subtraction. When you multiply these two out, you get two different results. So let's focus first on the binomial squared. If we were to expand it and distribute, FOIL method if you will, Notice in the middle here we get a minus 3x minus 3x which will combine and give us a negative 6x there in the middle. So when you distribute here you will end up with what we call a perfect square trinomial. You can look for a pattern for perfect square trinomials when you go to factor and work it backwards. But really also the trial and error, the multiply split and group, any other method that works for trinomials also work for these. So I don't spend my kids brains memorizing that pattern really. I just let them use one of the other, one of the other methods. Um, but with conjugates, these, these are kind of fun. Notice what happens when we distribute here. When we distribute and do the FOIL, we get x squared minus 3x plus 3x minus 9. Because they're identical, as far as the, the two pieces, the x, x, and the 3, and the 3, but their operations are opposites, one addition, one subtraction, we will always have opposite terms here in the middle. One minus, one positive, and they will always add up to zero, and we get what we call a difference of two squares. The cool thing about these is difference of two squares, when we go to factor, there's not a whole lot of work in between. So difference of two squares factor into conjugates. Two binomials using their, their square roots, one addition, one subtraction, and it doesn't matter which one you put first. So for example, x squared minus 16, you've got two terms, it's subtraction, they're both perfect squares. The square root of x squared is just x, square root of 16 is 4. So we're going to have an x plus 4 and an x minus 4. Cool, huh? My favorite. Love these. All right, let's do it again. Difference of two squares. You've got perfect squares here, 4y squared, the square root would be 2y. Square root of 81 would be 9, so we're going to have a 2y minus 9 and a 2y plus 9. Change up the signs just so you can see that it doesn't really matter which one you write first. But there's no work to it. These are the only factoring problems, by the way. I don't make my students show me work. <laughs> it's like, you just write it down. Now, it does not work if it is a sum of two squares. Okay, It has to be a difference of two squares. It doesn't work with addition if you've got squares. So x squared plus 25, remember you have to have those opposite signs in order for those two middle terms to add to zero. We don't have opposite signs here, so it's not factorable. If you tried x plus 5 and x plus 5 or x minus 5 and x minus 5, that's going to give you the first type of problem that we had, the perfect square trinomial. Okay, so this one is not factorable. So don't forget your GCF. For example, here you go, oh, okay, I've got a difference, I've got two terms, but they're not perfect squares. However, they both have a factor of three. So we can factor out the three first. That leaves us with x squared minus 25. This is a perfect square. So now we can factor this binomial. Here's our GCF on the outside, and the x squared minus 25 using their square roots gives us x minus 5 and x plus 5. Now you try. Here are three problems. Give them a shot. Go ahead and hit pause. And then when you're ready to see how you did, hit play again. All right, did you try them? Let's see how you did. Notice we have two terms. There's no GCF. It is subtraction, so we have a difference, and both of them are perfect squares. So we can go straight to our two binomials. A y times y will give us y squared. The square root of 36 is 6, giving us 6 times 6. And we're going to have conjugates, 1 plus and 1 minus. And it doesn't matter if you write the minus 1 first and the positive 1 second. 
Remember, it's multiplication, and the order doesn't matter with multiplication. So both of these are correct. Smiley face. Love these, right? So let's try the next one. We have 2x squared minus 98. We have two terms. It is a difference, but are they perfect squares? They're not, but we do have a GCF of 2. They're both even. So if we factor out a 2 first, we get x squared minus 49, and now that 49 is a perfect square. So we still have to have the 2 in our binomial. We have an x times x to give us x squared, and a 7 times 7 to give us the 49, 1 positive, 1 negative. Last but not least, x squared plus 16. We've got two terms, no GCF. They're both perfect squares, but it's addition. Remember, in order to factor a difference of two squares, we have to have opposite signs, a positive and a negative, to get rid of that extra term. And we, we can't do that when we're multiplying to get a positive number. Either they're both positive or they're both negative. Therefore, this is not factorable. Your teacher may have you say that it's prime. In other words, the only factors are itself and one, and there's no need to factor out a one. So how did you do? You liked this section, didn't you? Okay. If you know your square roots, you'll feel comfortable. If not, you may have to, to work with them a little bit, but um, my students love this because there's not a whole lot of work with it. So things to remember, your steps for factoring. Always look for a GCF and then count the terms. If there's four terms, you can use grouping. If there's three terms, you can do either trial and error or multiply, split, and group. Or if there's another method that your teacher taught you that you love, use it, go for it. Now, if there's two terms, we're gonna look to see if it's, it's a difference of two squares. Okay, so it has to be subtraction. So difference of two squares factor into conjugates, one plus and one minus, or a sum or difference of cubes We'll teach you in the next video. <laughs> okay, so have a good time. Do all of your difference of two squares, and we'll see you for the next video.